We are Trent and Allie, and today is the day we've been waiting for. It smells like a weird combination of plumber's glue and drain pipe fumes in here. We're having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting plumbing on the cabin, and there's a lot at stake. This is the moment of truth? This is the moment of truth. Maybe it's the glue, but there's something in the air today. Oh, hello. There's nobody down there. <laughs> but that's not gonna stop us from making huge progress. I can't see anything. Why are your glasses fogging up? You're not wearing a mask or anything. Because I'm so hot. Subscribe and come along today as we give plumbing a good, honest try. We need to go to the emergency room right now. Good morning guys. I'm really excited for today because we're actually gonna start doing the drain lines. We're gonna start plumbing today. First, I've gotta go down to the plumbing supply store and pick up a lot of pipe and glue and fittings. And I probably need a thousand of every fitting to make sure that I can get this right and that there's not gonna be any code violations. It's not necessarily that nerve wracking. I'm just, I'm nervous, that's all. And I guess the first thing I gotta do is get dressed. Ah. Uh, much better. Now let's get started for the day. Everything's frosty, everything is really cold. Doesn't seem to bother Frank. He has no problem sitting on the deck and being the watchdog. Can you do this? Is this gonna destroy? Yeah, don't do that. Now it's always gonna say hello on our window. <laughs> Kids. Ooh. Oh, it's not it's not that cold in here. Yeah, it's good. It's still pretty cold. But it's not that cold. You know what that means? Time for the kids. The fact that it's not that cold today means we can be running drain pipes, filling them with water, doing water fill testing, pressure testing them, and not having to worry about them freezing. It's so cute that you even think that we're close to a stage that has anything to do with water. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that I'm not super thrilled about is that the main line comes in down here, but that means we have to start in the basement. Like up here, I'm absolutely freezing. Every part of my body that's showing it's skin. It's not that bad. Dude, you're like bundled up. It's, and you're it's lying. cold. I'm not lying. You're lying. It's free. <laughs> Look at the windows. I mean, yeah, it's cold in here, but it's like bearable. I'm not gonna have die of hypothermia. Maybe in the basement, I would die of hypothermia. Absolutely, you would <laughs> die of hypothermia. There's no way you could survive down there without a heater. It's like the Arctic down yeah, there. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I've talked about this before, but I have Raynaud's, which is an autoimmune disease where if you get stressed, which is normally caused by being cold, your body thinks you're dying. And instead of just being rational about it, it cuts off all the circulation to your extremities to try to save your core temperature because it thinks you don't need your fingers and your toes. If you're actually dying, let's save your body. I'm not dying, I'm just a little cold, but uh, it gives me a great excuse to not have to go into the basement. <laughs> I like to think of it as when Allie's body goes to war with the cold, as soon as she starts to get cold, her blood immediately retreats. It like starts waving the red flag. It's like, we're not going to the fingers or toes anymore. Abandon, abandon, abort ship. And that's what happens. And I kind of thought that it was just like something silly when I first met Allie. And I was like, yeah, what a Ray, what? Mm -hmm. like, okay, you just get cold and you need gloves. Like that's fine until the first time that I saw it. <laughs> yeah. And the first time that I saw it, I was like, we need to go to the emergency room right now. You're gonna get frostbite. It is ironic that I have this disorder and we're living in the mountains in feet and feet and feet of snow. And it's like 15 degrees every day. With no fireplace. No fireplace. Not to dwell on things that uh, we can't actually do today. What we can do today is focus on the plumbing. basically the drain 
system. So as I've been trying to explain before, the three inch main drain is down here. It's, this is the foundation. It's gonna come up right here. There's a clean out down in the basement and then there's a big Y that's gonna split into one three inch main that's gonna come up here and catch this toilet and the shower above. And then it's gonna come over to another three inch main over here. It's gonna catch the upstairs toilet, both sinks, this sink in the main floor bathroom, the laundry and the kitchen sink. So I think we've kind of figured out all the pipes that we need. Now, we just have to drive down to the plumbing supply store buy a ton of pipe, a ton of fittings, some glue, drill some holes in the house, and put it all together. All right, we made it here to Ferguson, which is a plumbing supply store here locally. And I guess we're just gonna buy all of these fittings and all of this pipe and hopefully it doesn't break the bank. a million dollars I'm kidding it was actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was gonna be and we got all the stuff that we need and now we just have to go start cutting holes in the house and hopefully we don't mess it up when you say you spend a million dollars that's you trying to like prepare me for you still spent more than the budget was no 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 I, I think uh, it was only like 600 bucks unfortunately this is only the beginning um, we still got a lot more to do that pipe open the whole house is gonna be like a big septic tank gas balloon just trapping all the stench and not excited for that oh oh it's bad oh it's really bad we gotta hurry it's gonna we're gonna be here all day there's no no hurrying Once you put this Christie's Red Hot Glue, which I know a lot of people right now are gonna be saying like, wait, you need to put the primer on. Code does not require you to put primer on when you use this Christie's Red Hot. It's a primer and a sealant in one, and it makes a chemical reaction and it like melts these two pieces of PVC into one piece of PVC. If you try to take these off afterwards, you will destroy everything associated. And that's really nerve wracking because if you do something wrong, it's like, an utter disaster, and so I'm really worried about that right now. It's basically a plastic weld. It is a plastic weld. It's a blue, forever blue. Failure to launch would be a pretty good word. I guess we kind of launched and got a little bit done, but we didn't really get much done. So I bought two two and a half inch hole saws instead of one three and a half and one two and a half. So we need to go back and get a bigger hole saw so that we can run the three inch stacks through the floor. And our laundry box here is for a two by six wall and we need one for a two by four wall. So basically, Today is not getting off to a great start. We're gonna run back down to the store, grab a couple more hole saws, grab a new laundry box, and then we're gonna come back and get to work, but it'll only be a couple seconds for you guys. All right, and we're back, and we've got the four inch hole saw. Now we can start drilling out for the closet flanges, the main pipes that are going down into the basement, all the fun under the sun, even though we're not under the sun. All right, let's make some uh, unfixable decisions and start drilling holes in the floor. Ah! And now we have a porthole to the basement. Let me 
show you guys a little bit of what's going on here. Uh, so basically, we had to cut out a piece of this blocking right here. I don't know if that's allowed or okay or if it's gonna fail us for code. If you know, let us in the comments. But if you don't know, don't scare me by telling me you think it's gonna not pass code. Uh, this is the elbow that comes off of the bottom of the toilet. Now we basically just gotta glue all the pieces together and hope we don't permanently glue it in the wrong place. You guys are halfway down the stairs and it's freezing in here. Yeah, it's <gasps> nice and cold. Wow, uh, it looks exactly the same. What have you been doing all day? Boop. Wanna watch for a minute? Not really. Okay, it's really boring. <laughs> it's cold down here. <laughs> it also <laughs> smells. Yeah, we had to take the okay. cap off the poop. The poop pipe? The poop pipe is just ever flowing into my nostrils. Delicious. <laughs> plumber. If you guys need to do some plumbing, hire a plumber because they would know how to make this pipe go in there. This sucks! Alright, sticking it up from uh, above to go down did not work. We're going to try and take it up from the bottom. Oh, can you get any more angle on it? No. Dang it, it's hitting the bottom plate. Oh, oh, keep going. Oh yeah, push, yeah! Probably looks like we made basically no progress, but we got a lot done. Let me show you what's going on here. All right, so we got the clean out attached to the existing drain line. We also have our Y that's gonna catch our second toilet, but this pipe here, really hard to see on the camera probably, goes up into this Y, comes over, catches the first toilet, and then goes up through the floor right there. This is our secondary stack that's gonna go up to the bathroom upstairs. And that's about all we got to today. Either way, it's quitting time. So I'm gonna head into the trailer. I think me and Allie are gonna be eating some delicious dinner tonight. I'm gonna go see what she's got cooking up. Oh, what's going on in here? Oh, big old bag of garbage right here. Oh, you got the table set. You're just in time. <laughs> Trent's been out working hard all day, so I thought I'd surprise him with one of his favorite dinners. Tonight we're having steak from ButcherBox. And ButcherBox is the sponsor of today's video. ButcherBox takes all the guesswork out of shopping. They partner directly with farmers who are committed to raising animals humanely and use sustainable farming practices that are gentle on our planet. With customizable deliveries and an unbeatable value of less than $6 per meal, they deliver 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, heritage breed pork, and wild-caught seafood directly to your doorstep. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love steak, and ButcherBox is one of the tastiest sponsors that we have ever had. I truly, truly enjoy it, and I highly recommend it. Click the link in our description, and you guys can actually take advantage of their big game day bundle. You know, the big game day that's coming up, Super Bowl. You guys get free St. Louis ribs, you guys get free pulled pork, and a free pack of bacon in your first box, plus free shipping. Thanks again to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Now, I'm gonna dig in and eat this delicious meal and we'll see you guys in the morning. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I So if you guys watched and you remember back when we installed these pipes before any of the construction started, we set up these time-lapse cameras. Now this is one of the chores that we currently have to do all the time is come out and get the SD cards for these time-lapse cameras so that we can actually have the footage. But it proves to be quite useful and actually this morning it's not too cold because there's a storm rolling in so I got no problem doing it right now.
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down. This time last year, they had eight feet of snow and you can see dirt and mud all over the place. It's been a crazily warm winter, but I'm expecting in about the next 12 hours for that to change drastically. We are starting to hunker down because I think a very big snowstorm is on the horizon, which honestly at this point, as long as the water doesn't freeze, I'm very much looking forward to. Hi, babe. What's up, guys? We're just, we're plumbers. We're plumbing. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's not all glued because I'm a very unsure of myself, but this is where the washer drain is going to be. Okay. And the washer and dryer are going to be here. It's going to drain through here, come through this P-trap. It's going to go over and go down, and then this is the vent so the air can come into the line while it's draining. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that all these things are uh, code compliant. It smells like a weird combination of plumber's glue and drain pipe fumes in here. It's kind of gross. We're having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Your laundry chute. Just have to roll your clothes up and <laughs> shove them down the tube like you're at the bank. <laughs> it's magic. I feel out of nowhere. Are these fumes affecting you guys' mental abilities yet? No, I don't think so. The poop or the glue? Yes. <laughs> While these guys are playing plumber in the basement, I'm gonna come upstairs because it's just so freaking cold down there. It's almost 40 degrees outside. I barely even need a jacket walking around on the main floor and outside, but the basement is just a freezer. Even Frank wouldn't come downstairs. He saw me walking down there, he got up, and then jumped right back in his spot. sawdust in my eyes. It's really bothering me. Uh, at least you know you're not going blind though. <sighs> yeah, that is a relief. So I went to the eye doctor yesterday because I have a rare condition where my optic nerves appear like I have glaucoma. And so when I went to the eye doctor three years ago, she was like, oh wow, um, we're gonna have you go do some extra testing. And I was immediately like, oh my gosh, why? And she's like, well, it just kind of looks like you have glaucoma. And I was like, oh, well, what happens if you have glaucoma? And she's like, will you go blind? And I was like, perfect. <laughs> That's not a panic attack, just waiting to happen. And You're so, gonna build this house by feel alone. No, I'm gonna build this house and then I'm gonna know it by feel by the time <laughs> I go blind. So I like get all the scans done and the doctor comes in and he looks and he's like, oh yeah. Yeah, that's freaky. When, uh, when you look in there and see those optic nerves, like it looks very startling. It looks like there's a problem. He's like, but you're 34, you don't have glaucoma. He's like, so you're most likely just born with these you know, smaller optic nerves, but it just looks alarming when you first see it. My biggest problem is we've been golfing lately and I can't see the freaking golf ball. After I hit it, I can't see it. And I told like three different people and they're all like, okay. Yep, your prescription is still good. And I'm like, okay, but I can't see the golf ball. And they're like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> No one can see the golf ball. They're just like thinking that like I'm hitting it 500 yards and like I can't see it because it's so far away. But I'm like hitting it 20 yards. <sighs> so we've got a lot done. We branched off this second three inch main that's gonna go up and catch the toilet in the master bathroom. It's also gonna branch over here and catch the sink, which we've got half of that drain put in. And then this drain, as you guys saw upstairs, is the laundry. 
And it's the most complete so far because yeah. we really want to be able to wash our clothes. That's why <laughs> we're just really trying to get a washing machine in here. And so the, I guess we could, huh? It would probably freeze. This is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. If this doesn't work, I gotta cut all this stuff out and uh. redo it. Here we go. Get her in there. Don't be pulling out. Okay. I just gotta sit here for an hour. <laughs> Is the glue affected by the cold temperatures? No. Mm -mm. Oh, good. No, it doesn't care what temperature it is. It'll set up and ruin your day no matter how cold or hot it is. <laughs> you looking for a gentle slope here? No. Down aggressive. Down facing dog? Aggressive facing aggressive. dog. Aggressive. Ah! Oh, I see. Our slope is like, ah! Really <laughs> strong. Um, there used to be code against slope being too aggressive mm -hmm. because there was like all these theories that like the water would outrun the solids and the particulates mm -hmm. and then it would clog up the pipe. But now with like PVC pipe, they, they don't even really care. It could be like, you know, straight up and down. There's no poop going down your washer drain. Anyways. That's not that you know. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> it's not my poop. <laughs> What did you just do? We forgot to glue that one. Well, we forgot to glue a fitting, so oh. it's a puzzle and you can build it and then as you go to like glue it together, if you glue the fittings together in the wrong order, You're you screwed. can kind of back yourself into a corner. And so there just... should be blue around that? There's a couple of different things we could do here to try and uh, fix this problem. <sighs> mm, let's just try. Option number one, which is <laughs> strong man it out of the hole. Oh, it's so much warmer up here. Good. Oh my goodness. Thanks for rubbing it in. Woo! Sauna up here compared to downstairs. That's the only sauna you're getting. <laughs> All right, she's straight. straight. One, two, three. Okay, beautiful. It works, guys. Don't worry. We're not completely up a creek without a paddle. Oh, hello! There's nobody down there. <laughs> so much better up here. We've gone from the absolute coldest part of the house to the absolute warmest part of the house. And it makes a huge difference on our work ethic, our mental strength, and just our ability to be in here. As usual, here goes nothing. foggy these are? That's why that cut looks like crap. <laughs> I can't see anything. Why are your glasses fogging up? You're not wearing a mask or anything. Because I'm so hot. Like a true professional plumber, we have run out of supplies and we are basically uh, in a stalemate on plumbing right now. So the problem is that we didn't run out of supplies. Look at all this. We got tons of pipe. We got tons of fittings. It's just that, you know, I made a few mistakes. None of these are right? <laughs> what? Yeah. Most Believe it or not, good. it's like a game of Tetris. <laughs> Sometimes you need the block that just never comes. That's my life right now. I just, I don't have the right pieces. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go get two by sixes out of the snow that need to go and build the roof of the upstairs bathroom because it's starting to snow and it's supposed to snow for a week. So if we don't get those two by sixes out now, we may never get them out until springtime. <laughs> and we need them now. So we're gonna load those up, bring them in the house, and then probably call it a day.
of people have been trying to think about how we can use space creatively. Kevin said we should put a closet up here. Some other people said we should put a desk up here where you could work. And I just want to show you. <laughs> it's enormous. How, how short it is. I could, oh. I could edit like that, right? Maybe you could have a desk right here. For 12 hours in that position. Nice. This is where like. It's a yoga move. You know. Christmas storage maybe will go, or I, what I think would be really cool is if we make a little ramp and Frank can come up here, because you know he wants to get up like he's on top of Pride Rock and like look down. Be careful up there. Everyone. Don't fall down. That's my idea. <laughs> I hate feeling like we got nothing done. But we made a little bit of progress at the end, but. It's just hard because the, the type of work that we're doing now takes a long time to show a lot of visible progress. So like we're doing these like small little things, they transform at the end, but it takes a long time to get to that transformative stage. But it's really important. I mean, that's that's part of it, but also there's like this 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 detail that we're, we're problem solving and second guessing mm -hmm. and we're unsure of so many things that it's like, I could just cut these pipes and glue them together and stick them in and we could have like plumbed the whole house today, mm -hmm. but I definitely would have messed things up. Right. And like what I want to prevent is like gluing things in and then having to cut them out and go buy new stuff and fix it. So like we still have to go buy a couple fittings to make everything work, but I haven't used any fittings that I had to cut and you know take out and mm -hmm. I can't take back. So all the stuff I bought that I'm not gonna use, I can take back. All the new stuff that we're gonna get is gonna complete the job. I'm really excited to Basically, get it finished. The thought process is part of the work. There's a lot of thought process. <laughs> so much thought process that goes into this. I don't know if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. I definitely had a good time, even though we didn't make a whole lot of progress. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you again to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. Oh, and we're gonna have steak again. We'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Searching for something that ain't lost. Something better